You know from previous videos that the derivative with respect to x of the natural log of x, natural log of x is equal to 1 over x. What I want to do in this video is use that knowledge that we've seen in other videos to figure out what the derivative with respect to x is of a logarithm of an arbitrary base. So I'm just going to call that log base a of x. So how do we figure this out? Well, the key thing is, is what you might be familiar with from your algebra or your pre-calculus classes, which is having a change of base. So if I have some, I'll do it over here, log base a of b, and I want to change it to a different base. Let's say I want to change it to base c. This is the same thing as log base c of b divided by log base log base c of a log base c of b divided by log base c of a and this is a really useful thing if you've never seen it before you now have just seen it this change of base and we prove it in other videos on Khan Academy but it's really useful because for example your calculator has a log button but the log on your calculator is log base 10. So if you do log, if you press 10 into your, or 100 into your calculator and press log, you will get a two there. So whenever you just see log of 100, it's implicitly base 10. And you also have a, a button for natural log, which is log base e. Natural log of x is equal to log base e of x. And, but sometimes you want to find all sorts of different uh, of base logarithms, and this is how you do it. So if you're using your calculator and you wanted to find, uh, if you wanted to find what log base three of eight is, you would say you would type in your calculator log of eight and log of three, or now let me write it this way, and log of three, where both of these are implicitly base ten, and you'd get the same value if you did natural log of eight divided by natural log of three, which you might also have on your calculator. And what we're going to do in this video is leverage is leverage the natural log because we know what the derivative of the natural log is. So this derivative is the same thing as the derivative with respect to x of, well log base a of x can be rewritten as natural log of x over natural log of a. And now natural log of a, that's just a number. I could rewrite this, I could rewrite this as Right this way, one over natural log of a times natural log of x. And what's the derivative of that? Well, we could just take the constant out. One over natural log of a, just, that's just a number. So we're gonna get one over the natural log of a times the derivative, times the derivative with respect to x of natural log of x. Of natural log of x, which we already know is one over x. So this thing right over here is one over x. So what we get is one over natural log of a times one over x, which we could write as one over natural log of a times x, times x, which is a really useful thing to know. So now we could take all sorts of log, all sorts of derivatives. So if I were to tell you f of x is equal to log base seven of x, well now we can say, well f prime of x is going to be one over the natural log of seven times x. If we had a constant out front, if we had, for example, g of x, g of x is equal to negative three times log base, I don't know, log base pi. Pi is a number, log base pi of x, well, g prime of x would be equal to one over the, oh, let me be careful, I have this constant out here, so it'd be negative three over, it's just that negative three, over the natural log of pi, so it's just the natural log of this number, times x. So hopefully that gives you a, a hang of things.